You know you suck at that game. Oh crap, you do. I'll keep practicing because you're never going to be able to beat me. What do you do? <clears throat> Can I shoot this one? Yeah, we haven't shot that in a while. Wasn't this in the first video? It was. Have you shot it since? No, actually. Where would you? To the window, to the wall. Okay, let's go. Definitely gonna do a video on this. And both of them. They're both Tipman. I did the same. Same company. Tipman. Tipman? Tipman. They yes. make just artillery guns like this? Yep. Johnny, will you come stand over here, please? Yeah. Uh, we'll throw that out, please. <laughs> what are you doing with those? Uh, I was going to put a shotgun shell in, but it says that black powder only. Yeah. Does that mean you just put black powder and then the shotgun shell? No, it has shells for them. You got to put the black powder inside the shell, I think. Just dry firing. <laughs> Earn your live fire. Those are badass. We should put hot loads in those. Rest. Oh, like well, you made me shoot last you time with the, with the yeah. Italian thing. With the Italian thing? The shotgun Italian. that made me fall over. Yeah, but that was fun. But I mean, it was a hot load. Come on, people! Duck load. <laughs> what is this? This is a Tipman Gatling gun. But Tipman makes paintball guns. Paintball guns. Yeah, but they do everything. They've been around for years. I think they're, out, they're actually out of Indiana. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Yep, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Oh, that's been a 9 millimeter Gatling gun. Yep. That's fun. That's cheaper than a rifle round. 10 inch barrels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Eight barrels. And I think it shoots out of the seven o'clock. Does it shoot just one at, one at a time then? One barrel, yes. So you just spin it and it shoots as that barrel gets Correct. next to it, just like an arc. Correct. If you get stuck, usually it comes out the bottom. Is this the barrel? The, that's that, the firing that's pin. hitting the firing pin right yep. here. That's, that's the firing pin. Oh, that is the firing pin. I know, but I'm saying it hits the bullet right here. Yep. Is that where the bullet slows? That's where the bullet goes. As fast as you could turn, as fast as I'll shoot. Uh, I've shot a couple of these before. Back at the Texas Firearms Festival when they used to have it. They had a bay with one of these and I went and shot it twice and it's just like... Ah! No! God, please, no! No! It's crazy. They're fast. You could shoot like a thousand rounds in 20 seconds. And it was expensive. The elevation, change that, 360. What is the elevation? Stormy 120 in North Dakota. Hey viewers, tell us what the elevation is in North Dakota near Bismarck. It's below, it's probably at sea level or below sea level. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> like that was barely. dumb. That was really dumb. <laughs> Lock it into place with that or you can just spin, ah. spin it around. <laughs> is is uh, up as locked then or down as no, locked? No, down as locked. Okay, you even got a cute little sight, which I don't really use. Spray and pray, you just kind of watch it. I noticed that we're uh, shooting Dirty Bird Targets by Birchwood Casey. 33 round Glock mags. How does Glock feel about Tipman using their mags? Is that an issue? Everybody uses Glock mags. Yeah, but I don't know if they like it. It's good for them, but... Oh yeah, I don't think they give a shit. 33 I rounds, wouldn't. do you have, you have three here, so we have 99 rounds of bullets right. on the wall. We could put drum <laughs> mags. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, don't you think? Ray with a Gatling gun? I like to use the glasses that have lights on them so I can see into the gun, into the nooks and crannies. Don't Me? shoot them all. Yeah, if you want. All right, let's go. Show me what you're going to do. Just go slow at first. What am I going to do? I'm going to go one, two, and then... Ah! That's cool. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, push down, pull out. Push down, pull out. It worked. I got it out. I don't think you're, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're is your pull out game any good? Hey, before we finish this video, let's give a shout out to our sponsor. Utah Shooters. Utah is a big range day event they have in Utah every year. They're the sponsor of the video and they're doing a huge giveaway, giving away guns, the experience, flying you out to Utah to hang out with a whole bunch of really cool influencers and just shoot a whole bunch of guns. You're gonna be out there, aren't you? Oh, I'm gonna be there. If you guys come out, we'll hang out and talk. Shoot guns and talk and hang out and drink cold lemonade. Watch the video about the giveaway right here. Yeah, do it. 
Now's your chance for you and a friend to win an all-inclusive luxury trip. And this experience starts out at Shuta, one of the nation's largest firearm events. Check this out. After Shuta, you're gonna get a custom three-day firearms training with one of the best instructors in the state, Nielsen Training. Todd Nielsen and his crew are gonna run you through handgun, tactical rifle, and long-range shoot. All the gear used in the training is gonna be hand-chosen from Utah businesses, and at the end of the day, it's all yours to take home. Bring it in, how do we do, boys? Well, Johnny's is on the bottom right. You can't really aim, it's just stationary. And that's just me, right here. That's oh. Johnny, that's me. Is that? No, it's not, you can't lift it up. You can't aim. Funny. You move this for when you shot? Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do that for me? It's just a stationary thing. <laughs> You're just supposed to stir it and make it shoot no, bullets. I, was... I don't want to be in this game. That guy is fucking cheating. He's cheating! Hey. I'm so scared it's gonna shoot. We don't have ears on. I do. <laughs> Safety. Walker's ear protection. And I have a better grouping than you do. Uh, actually, my group is better. What are you talking about? Yours is worse. Mine's better. Mine's really close no, together. No, because it's not even on the target. The so how's target. it? How does it even count when yours not even on the target? Mine do you know is. what a group is? A group means how closely together. Oh yeah, I know that. Not how I know that. This is serial number four. The other three went to Tip Benham himself, the owner who built this. Are there only four? No, there's a lot more than four. Like a but, thousand. I don't know. I don't know how many they do. Do they still sell these? Today? Yes, they do. If, if you have one of these, tell us what your serial number is. In the comments below, there will be a little thing right here that says comment below. Right. And I talked to Drew over there, and he told me that I was the first civilian to get the lowest serial number. Question. Hmm. Why would the military want this? <laughs> I don't think they would want it. <laughs> you were the first civilian. Who are the other people? Well, Kings okay, fine. Fine. But, unless they put a drill on the side, then that way it would make I it. I mean, I guess if you're mounting it to a truck and you just didn't want to be able to aim at all at what you're shooting. Right, spray and pray. Hoping the truck was driving in the right direction, like on video games, like if the driver's not doing anything right, you can't shoot it anyway. Yeah. Good point, good point. Sorry, I made a video game comment. <laughs> <laughs> um, it came with wheelbarrow wheels, which I did not like, so these came out and I bought those instead. That's better. Yes, much better. Uh, yeah, it was really cool. And when we moved it, I don't know if you guys saw us move it. I don't remember if that was recorded. But Matt carries the heavy part, and I get the legs. And the legs don't weigh anything at all. It was wonderful. Yeah. And also, Matt ran into the wall with his side, though. That's true. With like this. Yeah. Do they have these in other calibers? No. Well, they're coming out with a 22. Hmm. Are the two little ones you have in the front, in the corners, are those, those 22? Yeah, yeah, we got to do a video on those for sure. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a pretty fun gun to shoot. If you have a lot of 9mm bullets and Glock magazines that are extended, pretty, Or you have a bunch fun. of geese on your property, you can always hunt with it. You can hunt geese. I, I don't know about geese, they're usually typically pretty. Ducks tend to be more ugly and eatable. I think geese are pretty. I had duck at a fancy restaurant maybe a week and a half ago and it's horrible. Do you people eat duck? My goodness. I had duck pizza once. Oh, that's... Ugh. It was good. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit like and subscribe. Take care.